Good day to each and everyone. Good day to all the students of Batan Academy, a national school. Once again, this is Sir Jose Prady L. Francisco Jr., your guidance counselor at Batan Academy, a national school. The Multiple Career Development Pathways or MCDP toolkit has been prepared and is useful for the conduct of career coaching activities for senior high school students like you. The MCDP toolkit will be utilized in your journey to plan for your future career pathways. Hopefully, it will guide you in your preferred senior high school track based on your talents, values, interests, personal goals, and aspirations. So, good luck to all of you for your next journey in life. At the end of this video, the learners are expected to Number 1. To be able to set goals as you envision your life in the future And number 2. Identify purpose and career goals Goal setting is a powerful process for thinking about your ideal future and for motivating yourself to turn your vision of this future into reality the process of setting goals helps you choose where you want to go in life. Identifying purpose and goals gives you a sense of direction and I encourage you to have different options. The lack of flexibility can prevent you from adapting to the changes, challenges and opportunities that may come your way as you pursue your individual life's journey. Let me tell you an inspiring story of a person most familiar to all of us. Binansagan siya bilang pambansang kamao at anak siya ni Mami D. Kilala niyo ba siya? With his head trainer, Freddy Roach, wearing red, official weight 145, 3 quarter pounds. His professional record, 50 victories including 38 knockouts with 3 defeats and 2 draws. From Kayumba, Serangani Province, the former flyweight world champion, former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion, former lightweight world champion, former light welterweight world champion, and reigning, defending WBO welterweight. Champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. You guessed it right. He is Manny Pacquiao. He is a professional boxer from the Philippines. He was the second highest paid athlete in the world in 2012 with a total earnings of 62 million US dollars. He has unique distinction of being the only boxer to be a world champion in eight different weight divisions. Pacquiao made a history by being the first boxer ever to win world titles in eight weight divisions, having won 12 major world titles as well as being the first boxer to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes. During his early years, Manny Pacquiao was a school dropout because of extreme poverty. Sumali siya sa mga street boxing fights hanggang sa siya ay nakilala sa kanyang galing sa pagbaboxing. Unti-unti ay lumago ang kanyang karera sa pagbuboxing. Just like Manny Pacquiao, we will reach our dreams by taking a smaller step at a time until we reach our dreams, aspirations, and ambitions in life. How about you? Do you know someone close to you? Inspiring life experiences? Yung narating niya ang kanyang mga pangarap sa buhay dahil sa pagsisikap? Slowly by slowly, you may take small steps to reach your ambitions in life. Here are some goal-setting goal questions that may guide you. Reflect your answers on your toolkit. Number one, 
where am I now? Maybe you are now a grade 11 senior high school student and have an ambition in life. Number two, what is my present role in my family, my community? Ano ba ang role mo ngayon sa iyong pamilya at sa iyong komunidad? Maari, ikaw ang palaging inuutosan sa bahay? Or maybe, ikaw yung tagaluto? You have to dream that someday, ikaw naman ang mag-uutos sa mga tauhan mo sa trabaho. Or, you might dream yourself cooking in your own restaurant someday. Where do I want to be five years from now? You have to imagine yourself five years from now. Maybe you are already a college graduate, already working. Five years from now, baka nasa ibang bansa ka na. Or baka nagtatrabaho ka na as chef sa Boracay. What are my plans in the future? Lahat tayo ay may plano sa ating buhay. Ikaw, ano ba ang plano mo sa buhay mo for the future? You have a dream house? Malaking bahay ba ang uh, pinaplano mo para sa iyong sarili at para sa iyong pamilya? Gusto mo ba yung mayroong malaking swimming pool? Or you have a dream to have luxury cars in the future? How can I get there? Ano ba ang gagawin mo to reach your ambition? To reach your ambition, you should have to prepare for it and you have to plan for it. Hindi pwedeng bahala na si Batman kung anuman ang mangyari sa buhay mo. Mag-aral kang mabuti, then magtrabaho ka at sasamahan mo yan ng sipag, tiga at pagsisikap to achieve your goals. What do I need to do in order to reach my goals? You have to study, work, and later na yung pag-aasawa. Huwag mong pagsasabayin ang pag-aaral, pagtatrabaho, at pag-aasawa. Maaring habang ikaw ay nagbabantay ng tindahan, ikaw rin ay nagluluto, ikaw rin ay naglalaba, nagbabantay ng bata, at nagbabasa ka pa ng mudyol mo. Yan ba ang buhay na pinapangarap mo? Hope huwag naman sana. What kind of life do I dream for myself and my family? Hindi masamang mangarap. Sikapin mo maabot ang mga pangarap mo sa buhay. Self-assessment may also help you kung paano mo maabot ang mga pangarap mo. Our target outcome for this lesson is students will recognize the importance of having a personal vision in career planning. This time, I will distribute the MCDP tool number one, entitled, The Life I Want to Live as an Adult. Ito po yung MCDP tool number one natin. But before that, here are some reflection guide questions for you to answer. Number one, what is career planning and why is it important to me as a student? Planning is important so that you will determine what kind of life you want to live in the future. Number two, why is career planning not a one-time decision but a series of decisions I make? There are many ways and options in order for us to live a happy life. There are many reasons why we need to think over and over again of our decisions in life. Maybe we have to modify it or we think there should be a better option. Or maybe we have to reaffirm it upon knowing it's a good decision we have. What should I consider in planning for a future career? In our previous video entitled 7 Helpful Tips in Choosing a Course in College, I have mentioned the following factors to consider. Just like your skills, passion, resources, field, employment opportunities, school, and prayer. Maybe this will help you in planning for your future career. I suggest you watch this video at the Batan Academy Guidance TV in YouTube to help you better. What are the basis of a career planning journey? 
para hindi na natin muling maranasan ng kahirapan sa buhay at para hindi na rin natin may parana sa ating mga anak ang kahirapan, babaguhin natin ang ating buhay na maging masaya at kaya-aya. Career planning is a lifelong process that focuses on making decisions to help you manage your future and personal life in general. This means that planning your career is not separate from planning the rest of your life. This worksheet aims to help you set your future career directions anchored on the things that value such personal interests, families, and dream jobs. In toolkit number one, you will have a career planning journey. This tool features a career planning map focusing on what one values. Ideal setting and personal interest. You are asked here if where do you like to live? Saan mo ba gustong tumira? Sa Pilipinas ba? Sa Amerika? Sa Dubai? Sa Burakan? Sa City? o sa mismong barangay na kinalakihan mo. Do you prefer to stay in one place or would you like to move to a new location? Gusto mo ba na paiba-iba ang iyong workplace? Gusto mo ba na ma-assign ka to different places or location every now and then? Sa trabaho naman, what kind of ideal nature of work do you like? Gusto mo ba yung medyo risky or medyo challenging? What is my ideal work environment? What kind of work environment are you aiming for? In the office, in the field, in the classroom, or in a laboratory? What business do I plan to start? This relates to what kind of business you are going to put up later considering your skills, talents, and capabilities. In families and relationships, who would you like to spend time with? Family, friends, or do you prefer to spend more time with yourself? Do you want to be alone or do you want to be with your friends or family? What types of activities do you enjoy with the people in your life? Ano-ano ba ang mga activities ang mga mai-enjoy mong gawin? At sino ang gusto mong makakasama? Relationship is really an important factor in planning our career. What do you want to do within the next 1 to 3 years? We are referring here to our immediate goals or short-term goals in life. It should be achievable goals in life in a short period of time. Let us say that after 3 years, you are still studying or maybe you are finished studying or you might be working already. Long-term goals lead you to long-term dream career. What are your plans after high school, working, going abroad, or do business? What kind of career would you like to pursue? The decision is yours. You have so many options in life to choose from, to live the life you want to live in the future. Again, you will shape your own future. If you are doing mapping up your own career, please submit this worksheet to your teacher advisor. This will be consolidated in your per personal career portfolio and will be utilized in assisting for your future career plans. Let me end this video with a quote from Thomas Carlyle saying, A man without a purpose is like a sheep without a rudder. This means that when a person doesn't have a goal or purpose in life, you're somewhat lost, like a sheep which wouldn't go elsewhere without its rudder. That's all and thank you so much for watching. Good luck to all of you and see you in our next video. God bless us all.